traditional song at the Grand Umayyad Mosque of Damascus. Muslim and Christian leaders sit together with Syrian mothers who've lost their sons in war. But this isn't a private moment. Cameras have also been invited, as well as mothers from Tunisia and fathers. Their sons are on the other side in this war, were captured and put in prison. Please forgive me, Latifa pleads. I didn't know my son was coming here. Our sons were brainwashed. She's come to find her son Sami, one of thousands of foreign fighters who've joined battle with Syria's rebels. Hundreds are from Tunisia. The mother's cause was taken up by Tunisian human rights activists. In this hotel in Damascus, they argue over details of a joint declaration. Tunisian lawyers want due process for prisoners. But Syrians in this room see a much bigger opportunity. They want to get all foreign jihadists off the battlefield. Khalid Majoub, a Syrian businessman with close ties to President Assad's family, has made this his mission. His secret weapon? He knows this is also Europe's growing worry. Europe today is having a new Pakistan on your border. And the real problem, it is the transit in Turkey and the incubation of the Muslim Brotherhoods in Turkey for all those fighters that they're coming from Europe and they will be coming back to Europe. Last week, a group of European members of parliament arrived in Damascus, only hours before a double suicide bombing. Politicians, mainly from far-right parties, inspected the damage. He blew himself up on the first floor as a police officer. For this Belgian senator, the presence of hundreds of European fighters makes a recent decision to end an EU arms embargo a grave mistake. The weapons uh, we will deliver to Syria, to the so-called uh, Free Syrian Army, but also to Al-Qaeda and so on and so on, will be used within a few months, within a few years, on European soil. So uh, I think it was a very naive and a very stupid decision. There may be common interests, but it's quite another matter to make common cause. Khalid Majoub has now taken his message to Syria's state TV. So far, his plan has brought mothers here to Damascus, civil society activists, even from a country with no diplomatic relations here. But what about the West? Well, most of their diplomats left this capital a long time ago, and there's a growing war of words. So will this kind of initiative ever work? Will the other side even listen. All sides talk about ending a brutal conflict. But some in the West are now focused on arming what they call a moderate opposition. And fighters from Lebanon, Iran and Iraq are backing Damascus. With every month that passes, this isn't just Syria's war. Lise Doucette, BBC News, Damascus.